<laughs> You're good. We're good. I'll bring you one of those chairs. All right, someone talk to the camera. Hey, Kendra. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay, great. All right, so we just kind of did intros. We um, said our need and what we're most excited about. You guys want to do that? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Who? Me you. Sir? Yeah, you too. Yeah. Um, well, I'm excited because Ann's here. We're going to Mexico. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm Ann, and I'm excited to be here and meet everybody, and it's finally see Stephanie after, gosh, how many years? I know, now? way too many years. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And Annette would have been here too, but they all oh, stuck yeah. in Spokane. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. So, okay. So today I wanted to kind of piggyback on the book from, la from last night. How many of you were on the call last night? So Lou, Cecilia, Lisa. Right. Okay. So then we'll kind of start in the beginning. <laughs> so yeah, help yourself. Basically, um, well, let me kind of read of what I read last night. Did you like how I put it all together last night? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm always asking. Yeah, I got that. Um, I just so you know, I will be reading from the book. I do not have all of this memorized, but it is a um, phenomenal book. Where is it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in here. Oh, okay, here we go. All right. So the fact of the matter is, in network marketing, you don't work hard for a living. You build smart for a lifestyle. Now is the time to start a better life for yourself and for your family. Now is the time to get the stress out of your life. And now is the time to do something different. If you don't know what you want and you don't know where you are going, then you will be lost. And you for sure will not be living your dreams. Now is the time to change, and network marketing can help you make those changes. So we're going to go right into this book. And this book is crazy. Um, everyone needs to get it. You can borrow it from me. I got ripped on my trip. But it's the 45 second presentation that will change your life by Don and Nancy Falia. And it really truly is amazing to watch how easy this can be. So we're going to go ahead and start off. Stop me with any questions. You said, excuse me. Mm -hmm. You said it also comes with a um there's also a, mm -hmm. a CD. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can listen. Yeah. So Cecilia's going to get the CD right away. I'm going to continue yes, training on our book for a little bit. <laughs> when she gets that back, <laughs> then someone else can have it next. So. Why did she get it first? Because. Because I was here first. Because. <laughs> she likes like her. Best. How many do you need? How many Let's see. Whoa. One through ten, right? <laughs> um, it's always the quiet ones. Right, it exactly. Is. So what have we always told you guys? How many people should we start off with the Nysogenics to really start the business, start making the money? You plus two, five, two, plus two. Well, you plus two then plus two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at this. And I don't want to take away from anything that we've learned in the past. We're just going to up it now. We're going to kind of change the game a little bit and show you how easy it really is to up it and to make this extremely possible. So we're going to take two times two. This what? Okay, 4 times 2 is what? 8. And 8 times 2 is? 16. 16. Okay, great. Now, how many of you have sponsored 2 or more people? Okay, how many of you have done 3 or more? Was that difficult to Joe from 2 to 3? No. Right, exactly. So let's look at these numbers. So 3 times 3, I'll explain that, is 9. 9 times 3 it's 27. <laughs> 27 times Put 3. I will start looking at my books now. Um, is 81. So what we're doing. Wow. Yeah, exactly. And we're not done. So we sponsored two. This is you. You plus two. Okay, you plus two. Them plus two. That's what we've been doing. You plus two, them plus two. Mm -hmm. So in reality, it's you plus two them plus two. How many people do we have? You have seven. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's kind of what we've been teaching. Well, it's really six. Are you counting yourself? Yeah, I think we count ourselves because everything, everything counts. Yeah. Um, so, great. Fantastic. 
Has that been easy in all cases to get the them plus two? Some cases yes, them some them cases no. To keep them, to get them, to keep them. Yeah. Right, them. exactly. And a lot of that is because, for one, we've been leading with the product. And so when you lead with the product, you've heard me say this over and over and over, what happens when I, when I give you a pay center's pack and I lead with the product, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great, you're going to love it. What do I think internally? You as the person who gave it to me? Who involved That she yeah. knows what she's doing with it. Like she knows how to. We hope she knows what she's well, doing with it. <laughs> we yeah. hope she does it right. Or well, when we open that box. We yeah. hope that she gets results. We hope that because of her results, she then passes yeah. it on and shares it with other people. Right, and passes on the correct information. Right, may or may not happen. Yeah. Right, <laughs> may or may not go over real extremely well. You do a lot of hoping and praying and wishing and all that stuff. All right, so now we're going to change the game and we lead with the business. And let's lead with the business. And Lisa, I know you want to quit your job in about five years. Mm -hmm. I know you really want to start earning some income so that you can leave that job and retire from that. How much money do you need? You know, just throw out a figure, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, all right, if I can show you how to do that by starting now mm -hmm. and really focusing on this about 5, 10, 15 hours a week, are you okay with that? Sure. Okay, great. So if I give you a list of what you need to do, can you do that? Yeah. Okay, great. So I need you to fill out this sheet of who do you know, 100 people, start calling them, I'll give you the dialogue, I'll even be on the phone with you to help you do this. Will you do it? Sure. Okay. Sounds easy enough. There's no hoping, there's no wishing. That's right. Yeah. She's going to do it because for one, she wants to leave her job. Yeah. Which is the case for a lot of people, correct? Right, Cecilia? <laughs> You may not want to leave, but it's happening. It's happening. So we we want this to work. And really, truly, I mean, our products work. We know that. We have a 98% success rate. But she really doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, really, truly, you don't care if those products work exactly the way I said they're going to because you just want this to work. You want this to be your savior. You want this to help bring in that income. You want this to take care of the issues. Right. So if... If it doesn't happen all exactly all at the same time, it still doesn't matter. And then you can forget the issues of the people who, well, I want to lose 20 pounds before I talk to anyone. <laughs> well, I want to make sure that this works before I talk to anyone. Why? And it says it's not going to work for them. And then the people who keep it a secret and don't even share it at all. And don't even right, I want to see if anyone doing. notices before I share it with anyone. You're just holding them back. You're holding them up. Um, so we don't know what anyone's dreams and goals are. When you start talking to people and you talk to them a whole different way, leading with the business, the, all that other stuff just goes out the door. It's just out the door. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about any of that. I mean, I talked to a girl today. I did a three-way call. And the girl who initiated the call was leading with the product. But I had asked a couple questions. And this is where it comes really handy to bring in a third party. Because the third party doesn't have any emotional attachment to that person. So, it's always so much easier if I use names. But let's just say. Um, use me as an example. Yeah, that'll confuse me. So I'm talking to Luz. Luz um, brings in Shana. We're going to use Shana as my example. Um, I'm talking to Shana. And Luz is like, you know, just, just try the product first. Just see how you like it and do what I did. And if you like it, you can bring in a couple of friends and then we'll just go from there. And you can make it a business at that point like I'm doing. And Amy, or Shana is sitting there thinking, I just lost my job. I can barely pay for this. I need to look for a job. I really like what she has to say about everything. Could I do this? I have a sales marketing background. I could do this as a living. And, and Liz is going, you just put it in your, put it in your just body. Just put it in your body first. Because she wants her, she doesn't want to bombard her so be pushy or with her be friend. pushy with her friend. Whereas I can come in going, you know what, I can hear that you want to know more. Do you want to know more? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me tell you a little bit more. And how much do you want? Well, I want everything. I want it all. Tell me exactly what to do. I'll go home and do it right now. Okay. And that's how our conversation went. Because I didn't have that emotional attachment. And Luz did. So I took it away from being product user to a business. And this girl's on it. I know she's watching the videos right now if she hasn't already. 
She's making a list of people she knows. We're enrolling her tomorrow, and we're going to get her started with her five people that I'm training you guys on right now. I'm like, can you find five people? Yes. Do those five people know five people? Yes. Okay. So much easier. So much easier. So anyways, that's kind of what we've been training on the last few weeks. So let's continue on with these numbers. So three is you bring in three. So we'll use Greta as an example. And Greta brings in three people who are right here. These three, so let's say Marlene, Carmen, and uh, Lauren bring in three people. Okay, so we're now bypass the nine. So you have 27. How many people do you have in your organization right now? Under me? Yeah. 241. Yeah. Okay. 245. So, and, and, and Greta didn't start this as a business until no. February, no. March? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she hung up the phone on me. <laughs> she no. did all kinds of stuff. It started getting a little nasty. I thought, do not talk to me about that. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. <laughs> Just let me send you this. <laughs> so, so now Marlene. So now we've got um, so we've got Marlene and Carmen and Lauren. I'm just going to write really fast. Now bring in their three peop three people. And this is only in this example, guys. Um, so now we're up to 27. Now has Marlene sponsored? Yes. Has Carmen and Eddie and has Lauren? Right. So now we're getting closer to 81. Yeah. And you've already bypassed that. All right. So now let's bump it up. How many of you have sponsored four or more people? Okay, look around the room, half the room. Exactly. Okay, so four times four, 16. 16 times four, we'll use the book. <laughs> uh, 16 times four, 64 times four, it's 256. All right, let's keep going, Greta. Okay. You brought in four people. Mm -hmm. Out of your four that you brought in, have some of them brought in four? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And have okay. some of them started to enroll? Mm -hmm. And now let's look at four levels deep. So we can talk names. So who would be the best one to talk names with? Um, Mary, actually, is probably. Yeah. Okay. So we have, let's just say myself, me. And then we have Greta, and then we have Mary. Actually, this is a good example. And then Lauren, and then Nicole, and then um, Carol. And then Carol's brought in someone. Uh, who has Carol brought in? Oh, well, there's someone. Let's say it's Sheila. Um, I think it might be Sheila. Um, okay. All right. Seven. Seven layers deep. All right, now uh, I'll come back to this example. Okay, so now let's go on and we're going to stop it here. How many of you have brought in five people or more? All right, okay. Yeah, so close to half in the room. All right, 25. Now we can all do this, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to We have fives. <laughs> Another reason. We do have five. a teacher in the room. Yeah. Yeah. You can't wait for this. Right? Okay, so now we've got 625 versus 256. Who's the teacher? Who's the teacher? Yeah. Oh, we're like, who's the teacher? And actually, I'm going to talk about teachers. Right, she's not today. Don't ask me. We're going to talk about teachers. We'll match. In Mexico. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now we've got 625 people compared to 256. And then we add in these fives, and somehow, I don't know how exactly this guy came up with it, but it's 780. I still have to figure that out. 780 people, okay? So you take your five people, five serious people. And so that's what we're working with right now. How many people have you brought in, roughly? Eight, nine. Let's go nine. Yeah. I think you're probably nine, ten. How many of them are serious people? Six, five or six. Okay, great. Yeah, so, all right, I'll just use myself as an example because a lot of you are in the room. So, I don't know, I'm, let's just say 80. But we have one, two, three, 
four, four personal to me. So there's four personal to me. And then we have your, let's see, your, oh gosh, we have, we have Linda, Molly, and then you, and now Katrina and Marlon. So now we have five levels deep right there going on. So you can see how this happens. It happens really fast and easy. You've got Aaron, you, Daniel, and, and how many people have you brought in, Daniel? Three. Right. So five levels deep there. I can't even do Linda's group. <laughs> I don't even know how many levels that goes down. But Gina, okay, so you guys are part of Linda's group right there. And she's from Molly Down Hour. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's all good. Um, so you can kind of see how this all flows together. How when you look at these numbers, and you think five people. Do I know five five people that could take this seriously? Do I know five people who could really seriously run with the business? How many do you have that are serious? Molly's team. You're asking me. Yes. Personally. And then like also about eight. Okay. Nine. So she's got about eight or nine that are serious. Yeah, really twelve that should be, okay. <laughs> we can't make everyone be serious that we want to. They have to want to be serious. <laughs> we try, we try. So, you know, realistically you take your five people and you focus in on five. And there's a reason for that. So if you weren't on last night's call, we do try to focus on five. Um, I'm going to go back to my scenario here. Mary. Mary's a good salesperson, correct? Yep. Yeah. Mary likes to bring in large numbers, right? Yep. Okay. Who's I'm going to pick on Mary, and you may or may not like this. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, you can't say names just so Anne can get familiar with some of the names. Those are real names. Those are well, names. I meant Mary, but the last name, like Shred. That, that's. Erin Scoville, right? Right. Under her, okay. Right, right. But I meant, so she... Sure, okay. I mean, just because she, you know, she sees it on Facebook Got only. It. yeah. And she doesn't ever see Why it. Why am I facing on Mary's last name? Siebel. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're going to do some true life experiences and situations. All right, so this is me. I'm just going to put you. Well, I'll put me. Makes sense. In the book, it says you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I brought in Greta. Greta J. <laughs> Greta J brought in Mary Siebel. Mary Siebel brought in Lauren Kreider. Lauren Kreider brought in Nicole Frazzi. Nicole Frazzi brought in Carol Haxton. And Carol Haxton brought in Sheila. Sheila. I have an impressive she memory. Was... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She was... yeah, that's, a, that's all party like. <laughs> all right, so. It talks in the book, and again, you're not going to really like me right now, Greta. She's fine. Because I'm going to talk about the salesman failure syndrome. <laughs> so the salesman failure syndrome are is in regards to salesmen. Hugh, who here has a sales background? Really? Love it. Okay, Cecilia and Cecilia and I. All right. Okay. That's okay. Salesman theory, and we may have been taught differently because of drug sales. But you guys all know Roddy. Roddy, I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> if you're watching. Hi, Roddy. Um, Roddy was supposed to be here tonight, so I'm going to pick on you. Um, Roddy, salesman. Car salesman. Salesman. Right? Okay. Roddy, which has worked really well for us so far, but Roddy likes to bring in large amount of numbers. He wants to, he wants to just go, 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 like that. Okay, um, what happens, let's just say these are all people, which is kind of some true, let's say those are all people and Roddy decides he doesn't want to do this anymore. What's going to happen to all those people, do you think? They go to the next person up, or what would it happen? They could. Now, the smart ones and those that are serious and dedicated will find the next person up that will help them. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we have that situation that happens all the time. Perfect, Dan. But um, in reality, that won't be the case with all of them. Could they group together, maybe? They could, and actually they've been doing that. So in this real life situation, they have been doing that. Even though Roddy's still there, but they've been doing that. Okay, good. What else could happen? They just get their own people. 
They just build them. They yeah, could. They build their own. Okay. They fall off. Yeah. They fall what? All right. Or they fall off. Because the person who brought them in isn't doing it any longer. So something didn't happen for him. It didn't work right. It failed. Whatever the case is. So if the person who brought me well, in. But then you're saying that all those people that, that don't like the product and they're not going to use the product. That can happen. It's, it's pretty typical. Direct sales. If your leader goes, what happens to the team? It does. It fizzles out. It does. It fizzles out. So we don't like that situation. And luckily, that's not what happened here. So Mary's taking a break. Mary's no longer doing it right now. But Greta, smart Greta, reached down. And they were ready to reach up. And so it did continue. But in a lot of situations, this is what will happen. So we want to teach this method of reaching down versus spreading yourself out. Because you could, a good salesman can bring in three to four people a week. A good salesman can bring in 130 people. But do they have time to train 130 people? No. Not whatsoever. Do they have time to train five people? Right. So history is telling us, and they just give the example of the military. Um, that the Army, the Navy, the, the SEALs, you know, all of that, um, West Point and all of that, they focus in groups of five, five to six. And so they really truly believe that you can focus on five to six people and take five to six people much further than you can 130 people. So look at the team that you have and focus on them. Now there's a couple um, situations where we need to find out, <coughs> already, there it is. We need to find out, how do we know who's serious? How do we know who we're going to spend our time with? And so there's a little calculation for us to figure that out. Because they can talk all they want, but unless they show the numbers, I'm going to give you all my time when you're not doing what you need to do. You know, we always say, what? You give 30%, I give 30%. You get 30%. Whatever you give. Right. Interesting question. I'm never going to take someone and I'm not going to give them 80% and they give me 10%. That's not how it's going to happen because that's you're just wasting your time with that. That's where you have the, the wannabe situation where I want to make them serious, but they don't want to be serious. It's only the ones that want to be serious that are taking it seriously that we want to focus on. So, so kind of, you know, just kind of reiterating this situation. So now we look at it this way. And we look and find out of, again, what does a salesman think? When a salesman sponsors someone, uh, we'll just put an S there. Um, when they do one person and they bring one person in, they feel like they duplicated themselves. They may or may not have trained them because they're bringing in so many people, they may or may not have time to train them. But have they duplicated themselves? Do we know, does this person know what to do and have, have they done it? They haven't done it until this person comes in. So it's only until you go two levels deep that you're actually duplicating what you're teaching. Right? Okay? So bringing in multiple people and not duplicating. And what do, what do we always talk about, Greta? Duplication. I just had a discussion today with Yay. my friend and I said Stephanie was right. Oh, I didn't ask for that, but <laughs> it's all about duplication. It is. It is. Everything we do. What you're saying is if I just keep bringing people in, keep bringing people in, but those people aren't bringing people in, that's not. Is yeah. What you're saying. Well, so you bring in, you got to educate them. So yeah. let's or look at this yeah. example. Yeah. It's something that they're able to do. Yeah. Share the knowledge. Duplicatable. Yeah. Have to be duplicatable in everything we do. That's the first thing we learned from Susan Crawford. A lot of the people I bring in, they'll everything. say, I don't want to. I don't want to sell it, though. I just want to, you know, focus on me. That's right. I hear that a lot. I hear right. that a lot. So, and the reason for that, and is because we've started training people on how to be a product user, and how to teach other people to be a product user, and and so they don't want to do anything because they're not seeing the results, or they're not feeling it, or they want to wait until all of that comes together. It, we know the results happen. However, it may or may not happen exactly when they want, and when it does happen, do they realize it, and then do they go out there and start spreading the news at that point? Whereas, 
And I know you want to bring in an extra $2,000 a month. Okay. All right, great. So if we count on customer, 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 customer means product user. And we're counting on BV. Are you going to bring in $2,000? Let's just say five people, because you have five people in your organization already. No. Yeah. yeah. Through you and Tammy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Two thousand a month. No, you have five people, five customers, five oh. product users. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you're not bringing in two thousand dollars a month. No. She wouldn't so. Have it's I'm like, really? So with this, okay. and I'm not, yeah. we're not going to go into the compensation program. Hopefully you guys have some understanding of the compensation program. That will do that a little bit later. I did the last, I just posted a video on it in Kathy Cooper's comp plan. It's fabulous. So I'll kind of explain our comp plan because we get paid five boys. Um, this is a whole different training on that. So stop me if you do have any questions. <laughs> um, so let's just say we bring in BV, so we got 100 BV coming in from each one of them, maybe 120, maybe 150, maybe someone's not even active, right? Right. Um, so we're really just counting on their BV to bring in the income. And right now we're just kind of focused on ourselves. And that's fine. Let's do this. Let's lead with the business, which we are just started training on. So it's kind of new to everybody. Um, so now we have our five people and we have five serious people who want this as an income they want the thousand dollars the two thousand the five thousand six thousand whatever whatever it is that they want so we're assuming they believe in the product and like the product yes yeah. they're not going to do this is what they don't no right some people will and you will have people who are you it was you who had someone it's like, I don't care about the product. I don't care if it works. I don't care about any of that. And she the told them, she's like, you know what? This isn't right for you then. Yeah, you need to care about the product. Yeah. You need to know that this works. You need to be a product of the product. And the book talks about that. I'll go into that detail. So go ahead. If they tell you that, because salespeople yeah. will tell you that. We're not looking for the good salespeople. Mm -hmm. We're looking you for the five serious people. Yeah. Exactly. The ones who it's want like this. Team. Right. All right, so let's just say Tammy starts to become serious. Yeah, she just enrolled two new ones, yes. so she really needs to right. educate. I, you know, like, I hope she's checking in with them. Right, yes, we need to help her with that. Yes. That's part of us going deep. Right. So we got to help her with that. So Tammy brought in two, well, actually, she's brought in three people. So let's say, you know what? They had great results. They loved it. Tammy liked getting those paychecks. Tammy's like, huh, my tummy's flat now. I want to go out there and I want to start sharing this with more people. So Tammy starts to get serious and Tammy starts to lead with the business now. And now we teach these people how to seriously lead with the business more than the product because the product works. If you like this and you know it, you're going to know that the product works. It happens. So now we teach these people and then they bring in their five serious, which you're going to have more than five. You're not going to just sponsor five people and get five serious. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Um, but you can see how this is starting to happen. We are making BV off of each one of them. But how much BV are we making off of each one of them? <laughs> Did you make your 2,000 here? Yeah. Okay. You know how many cycles you need to make 2,000 just from BV? Four and a half. Just from BV, you need 40 cycles every week to make $2,000 a week. So if you want to make $2,000 a month, 10 cycles a week. How many of you are really close, if not at 10 cycles a week? Right? Kick it in the gear a little bit more. Let's train these people a little bit differently. Can we bump that up to 10 cycles a week? Every single week? Can you bring in a minimum of $2,000? You already are. <laughs> Right, right. So we really have to start teaching to lead with the business. And, and for a lot of people, that's fine. They will just want to be product users, and that's fine. So remember that figure of 780 people, right? Okay, so let's say you have 10 people in your organization. Each one of them brings in two, three, four, maybe 10 people. All right, we'll just use that as an example. 
but you also have all of this going on. So now we're going to go ahead and just say every one of them knows two to ten customers. Can I get you that, Miss? Thank you. Um, two to ten product users. Because we all need product users. Our business is built with 86% of product users. That's 7,800 people doing the product. So then you're making BB of 7,800 people because you have 780 people that are serious. Not everyone they bring in wants it for the money. A lot of them just want the product. Great, whatever you want. It's cool. And that's what I told that girl over and over. Whatever you want. It's here for you. Whatever you want. Hi. Hello, how are you guys? Good. Come on in. You look very cute, Michelle. You look very cute. I like him pink. <laughs> Come on in. Say hi to the group. Uh, hi. There's this chair. And then I think we have one over here. Someone can sit over here. Okay, Luz. Luz can come over here. Excellent. Perfect. No, she's going to sit over Michelle and Roddy, everybody. Hi. Hey, Roddy just missed my salesman talk. Oh, Roddy, we just <laughs> talked about you. We did. <laughs> I'm the black sheep of isogenic. <laughs> right? We so talked about you. Oh, Yours. That's, that's for you. Yeah. That's, that's for you. you. You're good. I'm You're the only friend. guy here. Right. Right. No, Roddy, Roddy. 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 Seriously. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Roddy will go over this again because it's, it is a portion of it that I really want you to hear. But we're going to move on right now. Does that make sense to everybody? <laughs> Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah, it does completely. Okay, I got newbies in the room. Did that make sense? Yeah. Okay, great, excellent. Katrina's like, yeah, kind of. So, okay, right. later. <laughs> <laughs> the verbiage. If you get the verbiage and the yeah, just of everything, yeah, that's, that's all we're looking for. Well, if we were to read the book or listen to the, the and that's, paragraph, right? And that's why, I mean, he is the author, of course. But he's like, all you guys need to do is just loan the book out to all of your brand new people, get it back from them, pass it on to the next person, they'll get it. Amazon? Right, Amazon. whatever. Yeah, buy a bunch of them at Amazon, half price books, you know, whatever. Right. But he's like, seriously, just give them this book and they're going to understand network marketing. They're going to understand the series five. Did you get it? I got it at, yeah. Through, um, yeah, I got it at, yeah. That's where I, that's, yeah. That's yeah. why I recognize ripped on my trip. All right, so that's pretty much understanding the numbers. Now we're going to tell you what to do. So now you have the understanding of how many people I need to talk to, how many situations, what do I need to look for, and so on. But now what do I do, right? <laughs> okay, I got it. Now what do I do? So where's my drawer? Liz? Okay. Liz is supposed to draw my pictures. Are you the circle drawer, Liz? No, she's actually... A little bit of an artist, so I'm like, I draw stick figure, stick figures. <laughs> I need someone to draw more than that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a trip. And we're going to go, in this example they did from Washington, we've got a couple of Washington people in the room, to California. California is, you know, in this situation, success. You made it. You made it to the top. Um, all right, so here's what we do. And this is exactly what this girl asked me today. So what do I do? I'm like, great. Number one, we get started. We get in the car. You enroll. Okay, sign up, enroll, get your pack. What happens next? How do you, how do you get from Washington to California? What do you need in order to make that happen? Think driving. Think cars. Like GPS or what? Gas. 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 Exactly. Will you draw for me? Gas? No. <laughs> yeah, I want to see you draw gas. <laughs> yeah. You want a black car or a green car? Green. Okay, money. Yeah, I like green. Demand. On the go. All right, great. I'm supposed to make a car. You're supposed to make a car. Here, I'll show you the picture. I'll make money. Okay. There you go. Okay. We're going from the mountains to the ocean. Oh, All right. Okay. So we have the car. So we need gas and oil, right? Do you get from Washington? Don't worry about her drawing. <laughs> Do you get from Washington to California with just one tank of gas? So what do you have to do? Refill. You have to fill up a couple times. Yeah. So this is our product. So this we need consumable product. 
We need to constantly be using the product. We need to be a product of the product. We cannot sell or share, and I really don't want to say the word sell, but yeah, we cannot share. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's going to work unless you're using the products. Right. So we've got to have the products in our system be a product of the product. All right, next up is, um, oh, we've got to get in a high gear. Because we're not going to get to Washington and California neutral. So we've got to get out of the parking lot, and we've got to get into high gear. <laughs> Who thinks they know what high gear is? Five serious people. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> enroll your people. Right. And then you start them with number one, get in the car, get them on the products, switch them into high gear. And the last step on this step, the last step to this, excuse me, is to share with friends. So this is where your customers, your product users, and so on will come into play. <coughs> All right, because we got to have that. we got to have people, and we don't know who's going to be serious unless we go this direction anyways. Okay? That's it. This is, this is how we train those five serious people. This is what I did with this girl today, except I only took her to step number three, really. So what do I do? You sign up. You enroll. Okay, then what do I do? You get the product in your body. Then what do I do? Immediately start sharing it with people because you want to build this as a business. We need to find the people who are going to help you build this. All right, great. Then what do I do? You keep sharing. And then you just continue with number one, number two, number three, over and over and over again. Now, you're only doing your five series people. Again, it could take 10 people. It could take 20 people to find your five series. We don't know. But then what do we do while we're doing this? Lose weight. Okay. <laughs> Alright, good. And we are in high gear, we're running. Oh, yes, so we're we gonna are. lose weight. So now, high gear, we found our five people. We want to help our five people. We want to I'll show you a different example. I can do this myself. I don't need the book. I won't erase your car. A masterpiece. Okay. So, this is you. We teach Annette, who teaches Roddy, who teaches Kathleen, who shares with Judy. Are we duplicated? Did we duplicate ourselves in our efforts? When we get to third gear, one, two, three, this is where things take off. What's happening with Judy right now? Hi, Judy, I know you're watching. <laughs> What's happening to Judy? She's exploding. She's exploding. Exponential is, growth. Is Judy doing this on it's her own? Kicking in. With or without us? Yes. Well, absolutely. That's what you want, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Right? All right. Not that we want this to happen, but it happens occasionally. Annette is sitting here with seven cycles. Annette has not helped her yet. We did one call together. We'll do more. She just made seven cycles. Because it's all kicked in. Third level. Yeah. Okay, so Lindsay on the call last night. You guys all heard Lindsay's story. Mm -hmm. cute, cute, cute little girl. Hello, Lindsay, if you're listening. Very cute little girl. A little um, pastor's wife. Um, all right, so we have, we'll just do me. We'll do Linda. We'll do Molly. Katie. Lindsay. Jen. And actually, she had Sheila, too. Um, seven layers, seven levels deep. This is actually all happening by itself. Hmm. And then you got Gina over here, who's bringing in Katrina, who's bringing in Marlon, who's bringing in Sarah, and we'll just continue. That's all just happening. If I wasn't around, would that still happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> That's all done. 
It's all them. It's Gina. It's Lindsay. That's why. This girl's no longer there, really, for the most part. It's Lindsay. It's Gina. It's Kathleen. It's Judy. Are they going to do this business whether we're here or not? That's right, they are. They both made a point to, to make it very clear to me that they absolutely have every intention of making this their sole source of income and focus mm -hmm. in life. Right. Not because of the money, but because they want to help people. Right. Sweet. That's the right motivation. Yeah. The money Sweet. comes later. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Pretty cool, huh? Lifestyle changes happen at that point. Mm -hmm. Amazing things happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's, let's look at incomes. Um, we don't really always talk income. Um, not to, as Jill will put it, not to impress you, but to impress upon you. What's reality? So, um, let's just say for an example, Annette, who's Roddy, who's Judy, who's, um, or I'm sorry, Kathleen, and then Judy. Does Annette work this business much? <laughs> let's say Annette does maybe 20 minutes a week. <laughs> okay? Right. She's kicking it in gear because of what's going on. Right. Uh -huh. So she has now, because of Judy, gotten the aha. She's like, oh my gosh, I just did seven cycles, and I've been cycling every single week, and I'm not doing anything. So what happens when Will and I kick it in? What happens when Will and I really start taking this serious, can we make up an income? If we're making seven, eight hundred dollars a month right now, not doing anything, can we make an income? Right, that's what's going on. Roddy? I've been having a great time every um, every week I've been doing this. I, I, I take a picture of our tree. I told you, I paste right. it all on the wall, right? And I take a picture of it every week, and I text all, I text a picture to everybody that is up there that's yep. inactive. They're not doing their 100 BB. They're not taking advantage of the income and the group that's mm -hmm. developed underneath them. Right. I tell them, man, you know you're sitting on a gold mine. Right. Oh, wow, check out your group. Right. That's good. That's good. All right, and that's exactly. OK, Linda went on vacation. Did Linda talk to any of us while she was on vacation? Mm -hmm. I talk to you? Oh, look at you. <laughs> I got a tiny bit. I got a tiny bit. Um, how much money do you think Linda made while she was on vacation? How many weeks was she gone? Just one week. Okay. She didn't do anything. She talked to Gina. That was yeah. it. She didn't enroll. She didn't talk to anyone. Did she even talk to you, Liz? She talked to me. Okay. I may have had a couple of conversations with her, but it wasn't necessarily business either. But um, I gotta remember how much does she make? Oh. I know she did 12 cycles or 11 cycles. 11 cycles. She was on vacation. How much is that? Roughly. She made about $700. On vacation. Didn't do anything. Linda still has not taken this business seriously, and she will be the first one to tell you. She still has not taken it serious. She's one of my series five, but we'll keep it in for her. <laughs> yes, this is her, her she has trouble closing. Right, right, right. That was one week. Okay, Linda's doing that every single week to kind of show you guys income. Okay? Linda probably works an hour, maybe two a day, five days a week, maybe? Maybe. 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 All right, so then we'll, we'll do me. So I'm averaging right around 35 to 40 cycles a week. Does anyone know what that is? I gave you the example. Thousand. Yeah. Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah. My paychecks are right around two thousand. We'll just average it out. Oh, um, week? A week. Um, right now we're bringing in ten to twelve thousand a month. I have three little boys. I fit it in with my boys. Now I do take priority with business. Um, I'm going to say I probably am um, a dedicated two to three hours right now, and then I fit in another hour or two in between. So it's not eight hours a week. It's so eight hours a day. Whatsoever. And who, who here in a corporate business works eight hours a day anyways? How many of you work in nine, ten, uh -huh. eleven? I was going to say I work a lot more than that. Right, exactly, right? <laughs> eight, the eight hour day, that's gone, isn't it? It's gone. No one works eight hours a day in a corporate field anymore. How many hours do you normally work, Laura? Um, oh, ten. Ten in a day? Yeah. yeah. Ten? 
I, mean, I, I, I do eight hour shifts. Yeah. Okay. But your hospital, eight that's eight different. Eight 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 that's a little bit different, Greta. Well, you're, well, you're about eight hours, Greta. Okay. You know my job. Yeah, we're going to talk about your job. Lisa's got, Lisa, got other than what we have, Lisa's got that about it. Okay, let's talk Jill. Now, Jill does work this a little bit differently than we do. Jill does work a lot, although Jill's on vacation right now. I don't know how much Jill's working at the moment. Um, let's say Jill, Jill's probably about... I don't she know. still hosts a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like she she really about 12 hours a day, do you just... think? <laughs> 12 hours a day? What do you think? <laughs> no. A day? I wouldn't think she does that much. Do you? No, but if you yeah. add up all her posts, she posts a lot. Oh, Seriously. Is... That is crazy. And it takes a lot of time to do that. <laughs> so she might be 10 hours a day. Maybe. Oh, if added all up? Mm -hmm. No. What do you think she's working? Eight, maybe. Okay, let's really? say eight, which we just, discussed, we just discussed that an eight-hour workday in the corporate field is really non-existent anymore. And she's not commuting, and she's working from her home. Or from work. Oh, for wherever. Work. Right, exactly. Does anyone, I don't, I don't even know her current figures anymore. Does anyone know her current figures? Mm -hmm. All right, so as of a couple months ago, she was thirty to $70,000 a month. 